What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks so much for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation. And this is a pretty dark situation, so we really need to put the lights on right now. I wanted to talk about this, not to report the news, because almost everybody has heard the news about Kiki Palmer and her ex-boyfriend, father of her one and only child, Darius Jackson, and the, I would say allegations, but in my personal opinion, I would say the proven actions by this dude of just really being aggressive with her, putting her hands, putting his hands on her. Well, shoot, I, uh, I'm i not even going to go there, but putting his hands on her, body slamming her, grabbing her around the throat like this is absolutely insane the reason why I wanted to talk about this guys is because listen I previously talked about with Kiki Palmer and she did an interview on the Today Show I believe it was with Hoda Kotb and Jenna Bush Hager and they were asking her about her relationship and she said mind y'all's business And I pretty much said, you know, people really shouldn't be surprised that these two are still together because here a lot of people were coming out of the woodworks on social media after the Usher concert debacle where she was having fun, doing her thing, and then he got in his feelings and came out on social media to pretty much slam her outfit and say, you're a mom, and this is what I do, this is how... I want my family to be all, you know, all this other stuff that he was saying. And a lot of people were coming for him, right? Calling him broke and this and that and the other. And, you know, how dare you try to tell Kiki how to live when you don't even have a job and she could buy and sell your ass and (laughs) all kinds of different comments that I was seeing, right? But listen, when she came out, it was not very long ago when she did the interview on the Today Show and she pretty much said, mind y'all's business when they were asking her about her relationship. I felt like people at that time just needed to stay out of it because it's like, look, we can't control what people choose to do. We can't control the actions of people. And even though we don't know Kiki Palmer and we may know people where they are going through things in their relationship and they tell you things. And so you want to be on their side. And because you're on their side, you are automatically against that other person because of the things that that person tells you that that other person has been doing to them. And you're angry about it and rightfully so. But when that person or if that person chooses to go back to that person, you're still on the outs and you're trying to figure out, well, why? Why would you go back to that person when you told me all of these horrible things that they have been doing? They've been cheating on you. They may have been um, putting their hands on you, being aggressive with you, uh, just a number of different things. But then you choose to go back to that person. And sometimes if you are not understanding that and you want to have a conversation with that person and you're trying to talk sense into them, then they may just stop talking to you and continue being in the relationship with that person because one, they don't want to hear it. They've already made the decision to go back. Just don't even get involved. And I'm going to say it like this. I'm not saying that I don't feel for what she has gone through because I do. I would say we the viewing audience, we just still need to stand back <laughs> and and just observe, but don't get so involved in your feelings when it comes to this because the truth of the matter is she probably was going through this stuff for a long while and she is someone that is, even though she's pretty outgoing and witty and you know, she can be funny and all those different things like that and pretty talkative. I do believe that she has that Virgo side where she's a pretty private person. So she doesn't really want to share too much about her personal life, especially when it comes to stuff like that. So I understand that. But what I don't understand is people who are basically trying to say, oh, well, she's not a victim. 
she she chose to be with this man and and now she's wanting to file for full custody and get a restraining order now and some people feel like she set him up i don't believe that i i don't agree with that although i'm not going to get you know so involved in my feelings to be on one person's side over the other i definitely am on the side of right and from the still shots that i saw of him there's nothing that could be said or explained to me that would make me feel that, oh, it's no big deal. He was just trying to get her phone or, or something like that. It, it's like, are you kidding me? She is a woman. He is a male. I'm not even going to say he's a man. He's a male. And whether she chose to be with this broken down dude that may not really be worth much financially. Yeah, she chose to be in a relationship with him, but what she did not choose is to be in a relationship with someone that would do things like that. There's nothing that anyone could say or do that could cause that to be right. And, you know, when I saw the still shots of that, and just based on the few things that we know about the dynamics of their relationship and the roles financially that they play, Kiki Palmer being the celebrity, being the one that's definitely worth way more financially than he is. It had me thinking about what Tyler Perry said about women who are struggling to be in relationships and they have this long list, this laundry list of things that they require, but maybe you should just settle for a man where all he can do is afford to pay the light bill and you can have an amazing relationship. I spoke to that. I definitely disagree with that. And I said that most men, most men, even if you have some losers that are okay with wanting to have the woman work and make the majority of the money money while they sit at home, scratch their asses on the couch and watch TV or watch things on social media or play video games or whatever it is that they're doing in their time. I wouldn't even say spare time, but in their time, or maybe they are working a job where they're not making much money. It really is out of what is designed to be where the Bible says that a man that doesn't take care of their home is worse than an infidel. And I believe a lot of that comes down to because it comes down to that because when the Bible says a man that doesn't take care of the home is worse than an unbeliever, it can drive them to be aggressive, to be abusive. And because it is out of the realm of regularity to have a man be in a place of being subservient financially, all these other things and whatever, they will exert at some point in time that male energy and power over a woman because it hurts their ego. It, and it's not saying that the woman has to be over them. Like I could buy and sell your ass. You can't tell me what to do. Cause I make more money than you. The woman doesn't even have to say or do things like that for that, for that male to have that pent up aggression because they just, it, it's out of that, that balance is not there. It's out of the realm of regularity. So yeah, Kiki is still young. No, she's not a little 18 year old girl, but honestly, she is still young. In my personal opinion, even though she may speak well and, and, and different things like that, I do believe that there is a level of immaturity there because I don't believe that she's had a, a number of the life experiences that someone who wasn't pretty much in a way sheltered had been working since they were a child in Hollywood. So not really having a lot of the experiences of being around other people that may not be your family. So not really knowing that this really was not a good idea to get with a guy like this, who it's like, what do you really do for a living? You know, like who who are you and what do you really do for a living? No, what you do for a living doesn't make you who you are. But for a lot of men, it really is something that is a hard pill for them to swallow when they're in a relationship with a female that is doing much better than them financially. And so it's like, what can I really give you? And he doesn't really know who he is. So for him, 
being able to exert his masculine energy over Kiki to be aggressive, to be abusive and all of those different things like that. I, I can't say that I am surprised. So for anyone to say that they feel that she set him up and this was the plan all along to have a pretty light skinned baby with a guy and then take the baby and, and, and lie and say that he did some things to her so that she could get a protective order against him and then file for full custody so she doesn't have to pay him child support. First of all, why should he have to, why should he receive child support? I mean, like, let's just put that out there. Why would he even deserve to receive child support? Again, when you have losers who are males that feel that they deserve to get child support, and yeah, there are a few of them out there like that now, like Halle Berry's ex-husband, Sherry Shepard's ex-husband, just to name a few, you know what I mean? They're, they're panty waists, in my personal opinion. They're not real men. And so that advice that Tyler Perry was trying to give to women that a lot of them rejected <laughs> to say that women, you know, if you're having problems getting in a relationship and you have this laundry list that you expect these men to be able to exceed or just to meet and you can't find anyone that has that and they're not making more money than you, then get a guy that can just afford to pay the light bill or the water bill or the internet bill or, you know, maybe kick in something for the car insurance, but he can take you out to dinner every once in a while to the Cheesecake Factory, then you should be good. And a lot of men aren't even okay with that. So it comes out in ways like this. I do not believe that Kiki set this guy up. I believe that this is something that she was going through for a while. And unfortunately, with a lot of females, with a lot of women, it is sad, but it is true where you will look at the guy, you will focus on what you feel are the good traits or the good attributes of this person and choose to overlook those things. And yeah, in the moment you may be hurt, emotionally if it's verbal abuse and hey if it's physical abuse then you feel like oh the wounds they'll heal I'll get over it this isn't who he really is when in actuality that really is who they are period and so they weren't in a relationship to my knowledge for a very long time two years really isn't a very long time guys I, I know that some people, they get with people in a short period of time and sometimes things work out amazingly and that's all well and good. But apparently he has a history that he showcased on, even on you know social media of things that he has said to share how he really feels about things. And so for him to be manipulative and put a tweet with a picture of him holding his son to say, I love you, son, see you soon. You, you know what I mean? It's just like, I can't see how anyone can feel that Kiki was not a victim in this situation and that she set him up and this was her plan all along to have a cute little baby with a guy that could give her a cute kid. And then she was trying to protect her assets and protect her money. So she wanted to get rid of him and take the baby and all that other stuff. And it's like, if... <laughs> If people really think that way, you're fine to think that way. Everybody is entitled to feel however they want to feel and think whatever they want to think, even if it's not right, even if it's inaccurate, even if it's darn right, down, downright crazy. But I just don't agree with that. I don't believe that to be the case. So we know she accused him of physical and emotional abuse. And she wrote in court documents that he has repeatedly attacked her, trespassed at her home, and became very frustrated with their eight-month-old son. I believe every bit of it. Now, she was granted a temporary restraining order. And they'll have a later court date where they'll decide if it will be permanent or not. But I will say that I believe this just gives her time to get her, you know, to get her life and business in order to continuously protect herself because we know that restraining orders do not protect people. It's not a bodyguard. Now, I believe she can afford 
great security and protection, but there have been a lot of people who have been granted protective orders and restraining orders against someone that has been abusive. And unfortunately, those people still violate. So again, her getting this does not completely protect her. She still has to go through things to cover and protect herself and her son. You know, she said that they had their breakup in early October and he became even more unhinged, volatile and dangerous. And she fears for her and her son's safety. I just believe her. I do not believe that she set this up to take the child so that she could get full custody and not have to pay him child support. What, again, would warrant him even getting full custody and paying child support? Because there really, I don't believe there's anything that he could have presented, even if this were not to be the case of the physical abuse, that would warrant him to get full custody. Now, it might be a situation where they might have got joint custody and then he could try to get some, I guess, child support through that. But even, you know, with that being said, I just don't believe that she did that. I'm sorry. I know that there are people that are out there saying that she's manipulative. This is something that she set up and he has been misunderstood. And I, I, I'm sorry. I, I just don't believe that. I saw the still footage and guys know, or at least they should know, that if you are in a situation where you feel like a woman is being aggressive with you, you need to leave. Because more often than not, if you are seen as the aggressor and more t- more times than not, you will be seen that way because you are the male, your ass is going to get locked up. Now, we see that recently with the guy, um, Jonathan Majors, and his girlfriend. Now, they arrested her several months. What what was it, like seven or eight months after that incident happened? But he got arrested almost immediately. And even though she's been arrested, they still are not dropping the charges against him. And he's still up for trial because that is usually the case. And yeah, I'm not saying that there are not women out there that are manipulative or women out there that are aggressive or that they may even be violent. But more times, it's the male that is the one that will be seen as the dominant aggressive party in that situation, period. And there have been a lot of times, unfortunately, where a woman was trying to defend herself against an abusive man, and she got a weapon and shot and killed him, and they arrest her, and then they still want to you know, press charges. And, and I've seen things like that on Snapped because it is true. A lot of women will take things up until the end. So for people to say, well, she went back to him and they were going back and forth on social media and all those different things like that. She is an actress. People have to remember she is an actress. She has the one side where she's trying to showcase to the public that everything is all good in the hood. And then her private life where she's probably just cowering under the pressure, wanting things to be okay, wanting to make this, you know, cute and perfect family when in all actuality, that's not what it is at all. There's so much more I could say, but I really don't want to go too much into this any further. But my synopsis to you guys is pray for her, pray for the child, because the child honestly is a huge victim in this situation. And I'm not here to say that all marriages are perfect and all dandy and bringing children into a marriage means that everything is going to be great. But it is a greater risk when you bring children into a relationship and you are not married. You know what I mean? I just am sorry that she's going through this, but I just believe that we just need to stay out of it. It has nothing to do with us. Like she said to us a few weeks ago, mind y'all's business. I believe that we just kind of need to stay in that vein of what she asked us to do. Not saying that we won't pray for her or just saying, okay, whatever she goes through, it's no big deal. That's on her. But I'm just basically saying that none of us really knows what goes on behind closed doors, but based on the information that has come out and the still shots that I have seen, I definitely believe everything that she has said about him. And all I can do is pray for her and hope for the best for her and her child moving forward in the future. Because unfortunately, he is still the father of that child and he does have a right to see her. And that just honestly makes things a whole lot more complicated. 
So anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.